Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Mozilla Firefox, you may be interested to know that Mozilla has been quietly working on a new tool, which it says is designed to help Firefox survive OS upgrades and new device setups, particularly when updating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, as an example. Now, this is all according to a bug report, where Mozilla says it's replacing the so-called traditional Firefox desktop shortcut with a small executable called the Firefox Desktop Launcher. And this is something I've, I've actually noticed since upgrading over the last couple of days in the nightly version from version 142 to 143, which is the latest preview nightly version of the browser. But I've since deleted it from my desktops. A little bit unfortunate I did that because I could have shown you in real time, but nonetheless, just to keep you guys in the loop, because this is quite interesting. So basically, unlike a regular shortcut, this launcher can detect whether Firefox is currently installed and then take action accordingly. So how this will all work, if we head to the Bugzilla, which was opened three months ago and closed 10 days ago. So this has been ticked as fixed and is an upcoming new feature. Titled Firefox install link on new Windows 11 devices. Status resolved and fixed. Now, if we scroll down here to one of these comments three months ago, this will give us a general idea. It said, a substantial number of users will upgrade to Windows 11 in a way that leaves no trace of Firefox on their device. To address these cases, we will leave an install entry point in their personal files, which will migrate at a higher rate than the app itself. In particular, files in the desktop folder are backed up by OneDrive and other cloud storage products and likely to find their way back onto a new device. This app acts as a replacement for the desktop shortcut to Firefox. When Firefox is installed on the user's machine, when the user launches this app, it finds the path to Firefox in the appropriate Windows registry keys and attempts to launch Firefox from that path. When there is no Firefox installation found, the app will attempt to download and run the Firefox stub installer. As a final fallback, the app will open the Firefox download URL in the default browser. So that's more or less how this is all going to work. And if we head up to this comment, a follow-up comment, it says, an idea to explore. We add a Firefox shortcut to the desktop today. Can we instead leave a small exe file that runs Firefox if it's installed but triggers and installed if it's not? And that's the little desktop exe I was talking about that I actually deleted and I'm sorry I did because I could have shown you it in real time. So some interesting stuff going on here at Mozilla behind the scenes. So basically how this is all going to work in simple terms, the launcher acts as an install entry point that travels with the user's files even if the browser itself doesn't. And then Mozilla then hopes this approach will result in a higher recovery rate for Firefox on freshly set up Windows 11 devices. That's the long and the short. And the feature is expected to roll out with Firefox 143, which is the current nightly version. The stable version was upgraded a week or two ago to 141. So in two versions time, we're gonna get this feature because this bugzilla is marked off as mentioned as resolved, fixed. And I think most users won't even know that this is actually happening. It's something that's taking place behind the scenes and under the hood. And feels a little bit weird because it's actually acting like spyware, kind of burying itself quietly in your files. You upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And then if you, as an example, are using OneDrive, it can travel without you even knowing it and then get the job done behind the scenes. And because of this, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Would you be comfortable with this? Do you think that this is more behavior like a Trojan or spyware or a move in the right direction, which is actually going to benefit users? Let me know your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.